Did you realize that an infection can tip into sepsis so fast that within hours your organs may start failing, and every minute without decisive action can edge you closer to catastrophe? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy-to-listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we'll examine how curcumin paired with piperine sharply reduces sepsis-driven inflammation and dramatically improves survival. I'm Alara Skye here to translate rigorous research into steps you can use. We'll keep our dialogue balanced, so you walk away confident rather than overwhelmed. Sepsis starts when your immune response overshoots its target, flooding your bloodstream with cytokines that damage lungs, kidneys, liver, even your brain, leading to about 350,000 U.S. deaths each year. Those numbers outpace many cancers, yet sepsis often hides behind vague early symptoms. So mainstream treatment leans on antibiotics and pain control, both vital but sometimes late and always laden with side effects. That gap pushed researchers to test plant compounds that calm inflammation without compromising safety. And curcumin, the pigment that colors turmeric, rose to the top because it blocks NFQB and JAK stat signaling. The trouble is curcumin's absorption is notoriously low. Piperine from black pepper solves that by boosting bioavailability up to 2,000% effectively opening a gateway for curcumin to circulate. Let's talk evidence. In an Iranian intensive care study, 66 sepsis patients received either standard care plus placebo or standard care plus 500 milligrams of curcumin with 5 milligrams of piperine each day. After only seven days, the curcumin piperine group's C-reactive protein, a primary inflammation gauge, dropped about 31%, while the placebo barely nudged 3% an unmistakable divergence. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate, another inflammatory marker, fell roughly 34 to 37 percent in treated patients, confirming the anti-inflammatory impact across separate biological trackers. Beyond laboratory numbers, supportive markers shifted toward recovery. Bilirubin trended lower, indicating the liver was safer. Hemoglobin and hematocrit steadied, meaning oxygen delivery stabilized. Platelet counts edged toward normal. Importantly, no adverse effects surfaced, a critical reassurance when patients are already in crisis. Safety sets the stage for using these compounds earlier and more broadly. Even so, ICU severity scores such as Apache 2 and SOFA didn't change within the first week, reminding clinicians that slashing inflammation is crucial, but not a solo victory. Ongoing protocols still matter. Animal research deepens the picture. A meta-analysis spanning 12 studies found curcumin alone lifted survival in septic animals from about 40% to as high as 90% when given promptly. The lungs benefited most vividly. Fluid accumulation eased, allowing better oxygen exchange. Kidneys, heart, brain, and liver also suffered less oxidative damage, measured through stabilized enzymes like AST and ALT. Dose-influenced results. 50 milligrams per kilogram nearly doubled survival, and 200 milligrams per kilogram pushed survival even higher, emphasizing that adequate quantities matter once inflammation erupts. Timing mattered too. Administering curcumin soon after lipopolysaccharide or cecal puncture challenges gave organs a fighting chance before cascading dysfunction could take hold. You might ask why piperine's enhancement is so dramatic. It slows the enzymes and transporters that normally flush curcumin out of your gut, giving the pigment time to reach your bloodstream in meaningful amounts. That same mechanism explains why piperine can raise levels of certain drugs. So if you take blood thinners, anti-epileptics, or chemotherapy agents, you'll want professional guidance before combining high-dose pepper and curcumin. The Iranian trial used 500 milligrams of curcumin daily, yet curcumin's safety record spans grams per day without major events, suggesting a comfortable margin if clinicians elect higher dosing in critical care. Still, potency varies among supplements. Look for formulations that list curcuminoid content, not just turmeric root powder, because whole root contains only about 3% curcumin by weight. Another advantage of curcumin is its pleiotropic nature. It quenches reactive oxygen species, modulates mitochondrial function, and even supports microcirculation, a trio of effects essential when sepsis starves tissues of oxygen. 
These broad actions complement vitamin C's antioxidant recycling and hydrocortisone's immune recalibration, illustrating why a layered approach often outperforms a single compound in the turbulent sepsis environment. Outside the ICU, curcumin and piperine help manage everyday inflammatory triggers from processed food, sedentary habits, and environmental toxins, giving you a buffer long before a hospital visit. Think of it as building cellular savings. Every sip of golden milk deposits anti-inflammatory currency that your organs can draw on when a sudden infection overdrafts your immune account. Golden milk, a warm blend of turmeric, your preferred milk, and that essential pinch of black pepper offers a delicious daily route to curcumin piperine synergy. Human studies confirm the combo improves oxidative and inflammatory markers in metabolic syndrome, showing how an ordinary kitchen ritual can nurture resilience at the cellular level. Still, black pepper interacts with enzymes that metabolize certain medications. So if you take prescriptions, you'll want to discuss dosing with a qualified practitioner before ramping up pepper intake. Sepsis emergencies also demand intravenous strategies. Dr. Paul Merrick's protocol, 1,500 mg vitamin C every 6 hours, 50 mg hydrocortisone every 6 hours, plus 200 mg thiamine every 12 hours, slashed mortality at his hospital from 40% to about 8.5%. Vitamin C scavenges reactive oxygen species, hydrocortisone tempers excessive immune activation, thiamine fuels mitochondrial energy together forming a synchronized firewall that complements curcumin's pathway blockade. Critics challenged Merrick, yet peer review upheld his data integrity, and several institutions now incorporate his vitamin C-based approach as standard care while awaiting larger multicenter trials. What unites curcumin piperine and the Merrick protocol is their shared goal, interrupt runaway inflammation before organs crash. Using safe, affordable nutrients your body already recognizes. Equally important is self-preparedness. You don't control when infection strikes, but you do control whether your baseline diet supplies anti-inflammatory allies ready to act. Imagine starting each morning with golden milk. You flood your system with curcumin supported by piperine, keeping NF-kappa-B quiet and oxidative stress in check throughout the day. That habit pays dividends even outside sepsis, because chronic low-grade inflammation underlies metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, and accelerated aging. Curb it early, and you lengthen your health span. Before we wrap, remember that supplements differ in potency and purity. Look for standardized curcumin extracts and ensure piperine content is specified. Ideally, 5 mg per 500 mg of curcumin. And if you ever face hospitalization for infection, discuss the curcumin piperine data and Merrick protocol with your care team. Many clinicians welcome evidence-based adjuncts that pose minimal risk. Your challenge this week is simple yet powerful. Craft golden milk at home on three separate days, noting how you feel afterward. Commit to quality turmeric and include that essential pinch of black pepper. By doing so, you equip your cells with a proven anti-inflammatory duo, potentially stacking the odds in your favor should infection strike and helping quell everyday inflammation at the same time. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.